Welcome to Every Way Woman. So ladies, I love you, but sometimes you can be our worst enemy. Women are tearing women apart the more successful they become. Stacey, you look so bothered by this. I am. I, every time I hear this topic or this conversation, it bothers me because one of the things that we have, we relate to as women, as being women, that, that, camaraderie, that camaraderie, excuse me, and to think and to see and to witness and to personally experience women not having my back because I am successful is Tell very difficult. Tell me about that. How did that make you feel? Well, I can use, in my current situation right now, in my job, women who I thought would, should have my back mm -hmm. are very um, condescending. In what way? In that I'm the assistant director. So I would give a directive, and because they don't necessarily agree with it, they will challenge it. However, we have a director who is also a female, and they challenge her, yet her boss is a male, and what he says is okay. And oftentimes, they've had conversations with me that say, I want to make your money. I just don't want to do what you have to do. And I find that appalling. I just, mm -hmm. it, it, and, and I guess it bothers me because I, I'm hurt by that, that you would work with me and you would feel that about me, that you don't support what I do. So. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm shaking with this one. I don't know. I think part of it is the, the male-female relationship. I have a boss who is above me who is a man, and I have a lot of other co-workers, some men, mostly women, and I had um, a, a female co-worker come to me and say, ask me questions about what she should do on her job. And I said, well, you know, I think you should do this. And she goes, well, our boss, who's a guy, says this and this and this. But then the boss above him said we should do something else. So I went, well, we should do what this boss says. And instead, they chose to do what the guy right. said to do. Yeah. And got, they got in trouble. <laughs> but it's, that, it's that, crab, that crab in the bucket mentality. And women have so many things to deal with in general. Mm -hmm. We cannot continue to afford to not support each other, particularly when one of us arises in a position that can be helpful. Well, what and I find interesting too is that even in when women are in the workforce that their other roles are then attacked. So then it becomes not only the decisions you're making at work, well, she's working so many hours, what's happening with her husband? What about her kids? Well, look at what she wore to work today. Right. I mean, don't you feel like men don't have to deal with all of that? But the women attack well, they don't. Because I have to tell you, I've never heard a guy talk about another guy and say, oh, that guy got that job because he's got nice pecs. Right. Or, or, <laughs> yeah, you know, let's take it to what everybody knows. Reality TV, these housewives of so-and-so show. I know those shows because most of the people on them are successful and they have these women yeah, 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 going at each other. And we glorify that. We as women, we're the, the ones, we're watching it and we glorify that. And that should be an abomination. No woman should be on TV or anywhere pulling down her sister. And we show that to other young women, and so we perpetuate that. And here's what I'm passionate about this, because this is just real raggedy. And, and, and well, I, do, I, we gotta all, do something about it. It's all it. about jealousy, too, is what I think. I mean, these women are just jealous of what they have or their success, and so it comes out as this resentful, well, who bitter. Who perpetuates that jealousy, Jesslyn? Oh, we all do, because it's bored, it's a topic of conversation, it's oh, I gossip. Think it's in, uh, you mean jealousy, insecurity. I think it's it, jealousy and security kind of go together, right, hand in hand. When you feel insecure, you can feel jealous about what somebody right. else has done or Correct. what they've accomplished. Well, okay, I'll use myself. I had a situation where there was a person who was over me, a successful woman over me, and I can tell you, for a moment, I did feel insecure. Mm -hmm. And I found myself in a conversation slamming her. See, that's why I don't want to be a hypocrite in front of you. Found myself slamming her. And the person that I was talking to said, Stacy you are so wrong right about now because I know where you sit and the, and the same thing that you're saying about her, someone has said about you. And that really put the light well, bulb on Look at women me. who are running in politics of any office. I mean, they're getting criticized on all these different levels that men are and mostly by other women. Right. Well, <laughs> you know, I've, women have very strong political views and sometimes they have stronger views than men do. So what does but it they're not talking about politics. They're talking about the suit she's wearing. We're in, you know, an economic right. crisis, uh, yeah. and the, you know, president's wife is wearing a suit that's two thousand dollars, and everybody's going to critique it and talk about it. And same thing with, you know. But again, I'm just, I'm just so bothered that as women, you guys know, we have a lot of things that we have to contend with, and we don't support each other. 
we, and particularly when we reach, we reach a certain level. We don't support each other, and we got to do better, and because we have to insecure. start educating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but because you're insecure, then you attack me? Deal, deal with your So, so what do you think we could do differently? Um, you know, it's love yourself. Just well, you be confident in yourself because you can't oh, love that yourself sounds if there's real no example. Easy. You know, yeah, because you can't love yourself if there's no example of women around you who love themselves. Right? Yes, you're absolutely right. Okay, so we gotta yeah. teach the lesson. I gotta teach you as being a mature woman, Jesslyn, you're enough. And when and when Madison does something well, I gotta celebrate her. And right? in that, then turn off the housewives, recognize what you have and celebrate it. You can't always just want what you don't have. You have to want what you have and learn to love it. And celebrate each other. Uh, yes. You know, um, when I go into someone's home and they have a beautiful home, I don't walk in and start trashing their home and saying, oh, well, they've got this. So, you know, I mean, I might, people, I might make a snarky the, remark right, about that. But there the are people I mean, who do. And it's the exact same thing. They'll walk into someone's beautiful home and go, oh, and then they'll start trashing it. And instead of just saying, hey, I appreciate your beautiful home. Thank you for sharing it with me. I'm so glad that you can have this so that I can come here and share. you can share and it. And then the reason why that's important is because as women are successful, it's important that we reach back and continue to pull women up. So again, I would hope that, and I shared my own story, both how I'm experiencing and how I participated in it, to say that it's true and it's out there, but we have to make a change. We have to do something different and we have to teach our young girls to start complimenting their friends at an early age, right? About you, how they look. About how about they look. You the, were pretty. You did a great job. Congratulations on that A. I'm so proud. We got to start early. That's that's how we change that to your question. Or, or, your, your daughters, her friends. You know what? I'm really proud of what you did. That's what you do. We'll be right back with more Everyday Woman. Stay tuned.